WBBL9 rolls on and it comes to the city of Perth and the magnificent WACA ground. Lisa Stalaker, welcome to you on this warm afternoon. Thank you, Al, and hello, everyone. And oh, we're certainly, it's certainly great to be back at the Wacker. I think uh, it's uh, one of my favourite grounds because you do get a great pitch. Huge game for the Sixers underway. Off the edge and down through vacant second slip to the boundary. Perry, oh, that was hit firmly through the hands of Gibson. It goes, burst them wide open. That is beautiful. Textbook cricket, textbook Perry. In the air and that has gone all the way. That is a clever shot and well executed by Perry. There's such good balance here. Yeah. Bold! Big wicket, Elise Perry tried to go big. And she has been dismissed by Gibson. That's a huge wicket for the Adelaide Strikers to have the inform batter. Catch it, catch it. Yeah. And it's taken. So they have two now. And Gemma Barsby on the mic is multitasking to perfection. In the air, and that'll go over the top for six. Katie Mack was down on the deep backward square boundary, but could only see it sail over her head. Beaten, stumped. Did she get a foot back? Bridget Patterson, the keeper, is confident. I think you'll find big trouble. Thank you. Yeah, satisfied with the batter short of her ground, ready to make my decision for the big screen. Aaron Burns dismissed for eight. Full toss. Hit into the gap. One bounce over the rope to bring up the 50. And Gardner's getting a start. You catch that. Gone. So it's another huge breakthrough. Gardner goes, holes out. And it's a cheap wicket in the end. Mashungwe picks up another one. And gee whiz, this Sydney Sixers campaign is teetering right now. So that's nicely played. There's a hole there, one bounce over the rope, and it's bold batting from Maitland Brown. She took it on. And again, so they didn't drop anyone down there, and she's done it again. Almost found the rope on the full, back-to-back -back boundaries. That's beautifully played. She opened up that front leg and punched it through cover. What a glorious shot. She's got a bit of it, but there's a fielder camped underneath it, and the simplest of catches is taken. So, try on falls. Just as Brown was getting going, they were building a partnership. And the strikers keep sending them back. Yep, deception. Well bowled. Leg spinners are showing the way. Deceived in flight. End up just targeting it out to deep me wicket. Now we're aware of how chatty you were as a keeper. That's beautifully played. She's dropped a bit short and Carmichael put her away. And that's gone. Oh, oh, no, gee, I thought she had it. And then... Georgia Adams, she is a tall player. Maybe just mistimed her oh, jump. I was waiting for the replay. I think you're right. And she just muscles that over the top of cover. And time it well enough to... Oh, my God, that's a horrible piece of work out there. Well, oh, she's trying to get more runs on the board, so she's just throwing it over the boundary line. That's nicely played, and that will race away. So Maitland Brown's been a fine this year, and she continues a good form with the bat. It's five for 107. It's very good. Direct, it's got her. It still might be enough. I suspect it is. So that is an outstanding team performance by the Adelaide Strikers. This Mashungwe finishes it brilliantly with an outstanding final over Katie Martin. That was 
It wasn't exciting to watch what the Sixers could do with a bat from a fielding and bowling performance from the strikers. You can't ask for much better than that. Yeah, it was a professional bowling oh. performance. This is the last delivery. The run out, just a little bit of indecision. Yeah, your last ball, you always just run. Doesn't matter if you're going to get out, give a chance to get that one extra run. But they all just did their job really well. They took up, took wickets when they needed to. They fielded well and they're well supported. So Sixers finish up with 111 on the board. They're going to have to go all out attack with their bowling and they're going to have to bowl the, the Sydney, oh, the strikers batting unit out who are so strong. Great to have you with us. Great to have you with us wherever uh, you might be joining us. How great world, is it, Andy? <laughs> Katie Martin, it's a joy to be here in Perth alongside you and Hodgie. And it's a bit of cloud covers rolled in in the last hour and a half. So just taking a bit of an edge off that uh, blistering West Australian sun. Well, it's all about wickets, isn't it? They're not going to they're not going to defend the total over 20 overs. The Sixers have to have an aggressive take wicket mindset here. That's the only way they're going to pull off this, which would be an unlikely victory if they can. One th oh, oh, that's not good. And that's the superstar that it gets through. And yeah, that's uh, unforgivable, really. Down. That's a lovely shot. Used her feet beautifully. It's what she does. And she puts it away. It's a very bright start. Ten runs from the opening over. Oh, well, there he is. Straight through bat and pad. The shape was late. And that is Lauren Cheadle out of the top drawer. Well, that's beautifully played. What a glorious cricket shot. Catch it. So she doesn't get all of it, McGrath, but well and truly enough. And does what has been difficult to do, and that's get Smith away in the power play. It's one for 21. That is very good batting again. It wasn't elegant, but she knew where the ball had to go. And she's in control of her game. And again, she finds another hole in the outfield, and she's careering this one to that small total. That's been put away, as it should have been. Got away from Gardner, and that was... Money for old ropers, they say, Hodgie. <laughs> is that what they say? That's what it, they Andy? say. Money for right old rope, Katie. So, Katie, as one nearly goes to hand, the Sydney, in a, a different team, in a different situation in a tournament, might be mindful of net run rate. Catch it! That's straight over the bowler's head, and it's straight over the rope. Well, a nice contact point from Talia McGrath. Remember, she fractured her shoulder. So maybe a few sixes heart in their mouth. Oh, hey Matilda! The, the news, obviously, about Alicia Healy was a you know a hammer blow for you know your team and the competition this year. But how did it affect the group? Catch it! God oh. no! Hard to believe that Gardner's put that down. This is the opportunity they were looking for. Use of the feet, just bounce a little, just held back. Just mistimed that with the jump back. Catch it! Oh, it's a chance. Go Out! On. Perry takes the catch. Well, there you go. The breakthrough worked. The initiative of bringing Ash Gardner into the attack. Quality spin bowler. Away through backward points. And that will race out towards the boundary. The 100 comes up. Hit over the top. Well, not over the top. It's caught. It went straight up, and Perry waited and took it happily. Fifty for Katie Mack, so it's another superb innings from her in what is proving to be a very productive season. Beautifully bowled by Cheetle. Her second wicket. And there's just a little bit of late pride that the Sixers are trying to find here. Four for 103. That is a chance of a catch. It's out. Gardner's safe hand, so a fifth wicket.
They're making hard work of this, the Adelaide Strikers. And there they are. Dragged down, put away. And the Adelaide Strikers join the top of the table. Brisbane Heat with four wins for the season. The defending champions have made a good start to their WBBL title defence. They win by five wickets with 17 balls to spare, but controlled the run chase before just a little bit of a, a collapse. But they get home ultimately quite convincingly. Here's the match summary. Maitland Brown, she's had to a few times this season provide some handy runs in the lower order after the top didn't deliver enough. Shang Wei, player of the match, with her figures of two for 18. And Cheadle and Gardner did their best to try and bring a, a little bit of difficulty to the strikers' chase, but in the end they got home with 2.5 overs to spare.